Hi, welcome to Arch Labs 4.1 Yoda. This is a tip about melt. What is melt? Melt is my easy way to figure out if files are different in one directory comparing to the other directory or one file is different with the other file. Okay. Where is it? It's in Super F5. There it is. There you have this program melt. And in melt you have preferences and I've already set them to be solarized light. Okay, you can make the bundle space regular, a bit bigger, or just completely change the font. This is melt. So you have to decide what you choose. Do you want to compare one file with the other, or do you want to compare a complete directory with another directory? So that's the thing to do. That's the tip of today. And let's do it with, for instance, for instance, if you're using 4.1, you'll probably see that you don't have this bar here and you don't have Farofi appearance. So there are things changing on my system, even though I have 4.1.0. Why? That's because, of course, we're developing um, it's even further, so we can release R2D2 soon. And you can have the latest versions as well. You just go to Arch Labs GitHub and you look for the Arch Labs open box configs. Go to here, click here, and then you have copy pasted this link. And then you have to put it somewhere and anywhere is good. In my case, of course, control H, it's best that I put everything together. So it's in the Arch Labs folder. But for this example, I'll put it here. I open the terminal, I git clone, and then control shift V enter and what happens now you have a copy paste what's on the net is in on your system now and in a few months time you see me change something else you say, oh, more I have something different here you just go back here so we're two weeks ahead and what you do is you get you ask again pull me everything from the net and give me any change it says already up to date so no differences you can just stay uh, as it was because there are no differences on the web but now let's check if this downloaded version is the same as my local version so that's the tutorial melt okay let's go ahead and let's open it again so this is not a file comparison which is one file against the other but an actually directory comparison in the meantime, my workflow is as follows, but you don't have to follow it. It's up to you. My workflow is that the right one is always the original one. It's the online one. It's the, the proper one. And the left one is the personal one. Okay. So I'm going to look for my downloaded file, downloads, Arch Labs, open. And I'm going to look for my own personal folder, which is in the hidden folder dot config in open box so here you see where i am and i'm gonna compare both folders with each other and it can be done quite quickly as you can see i've added a splash image for grub so people who like to have an image on their grub when you run it you can do that easily with grub customizer you can add it it's not necessary but you can do it oh i just Press the wrong button here. I want to compare the PNG. No, no. So copy to the left means remember the right one is the original one, it's the online version, should be a newer version. And the left the left one, yeah, the right one is online and the left one is local. So I've copied pasted my image to my own folder. How to start is different. Why? Because I want the nitrogen to sleep. I don't want it to start. I want variety to take over the pictures. And I want Plank activated. I want Temps activated. And Redshift GTK is activated. So I leave everything as it was because I like it how it is. The key bindings text has been changed probably. Depends. This is one from 18. So yeah, this is more recent. And but there are differences because I use GNOME screenshots, so just copy pasting is not gonna cut it. But it's a text file, it's not important. 
when does this happen if you press display keybinds and new window this is the text file this is text so at this point if we refresh it will be changed again as you can see with the 20th so yeah i've just changed the the keybinds text so that's not important it's not an issue same and the same but here something has changed maybe i've made a shortcut i don't know but i'm using a different theme now i'm using advaita open box theme yeah advaita open box so that's correct don't want to change it to arc so i keep i don't change it and size is too small for me so i keep my size and then you scroll down you see maybe these blue things on the side scroll down to the blue things and here we have xfce screen shooter but i would like to have gnome screenshot interactive because of the pictures i have to take in gpg for the website now well, that's all for a good reason and here we're key binding here we have spaces we can get rid of actually this is wrong so the, the thing online is wrong these spaces can be deleted and here as well some spaces that can be deleted okay but in essence i have the same folder the same content oh yeah when you press here close tab then he says oh you haven't saved anything you, you should save it or not that's up to you so i'm gonna save it but where is it now saved not in my github version it's now saved in my download map folder so i have to clean it up later so that's how easy it, it is it works how easy you can do it you can also say i want to only see the things that are the same you can only see the things that are new or modified but normally i keep everything activated but only if you have very 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 long um, listing like for instance making niso like for instance making thirty thousand icons yeah then i just want to see the ones that are modified okay Enjoy uh, the system, enjoy Melt, and um, that's a great tip. Use it.